Welcome back to EVO 1. Today we're discussing the latest turn of events surrounding Wiggle, Chain Reaction Cycles, Vetus, and Nukeproof, and how a billionaire's bad business bet could potentially bring many bike shops to the brink of bankruptcy. If you are new here to the channel, welcome. At EVO 1, I bring you the latest bike industry news, insights, and technical analysis. So if you find that kind of content valuable, please consider becoming a subscriber, hitting that bell icon so you're notified and you don't miss out whenever I post, as well as liking and commenting down below. I would love to talk to you. Now, let's get into it. If you have not seen my last video talking about Cigna Holdings, the equity commitment letter being withdrawn, the billionaire who is allegedly in trouble, there's so much drama surrounding this. But the latest development is that Wiggle Chain Reaction Cycles is now being put up for sale as they enter an administration period. Administration is a very common thing in business. Companies enter it when they're facing insolvency and it allows them a 12 month time span in which they can prepare a company for sale, liquidate its assets, make the company worth more, as well as try to reimburse their creditors. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking they're for sale, somebody's gonna buy them, everything's gonna go back to normal. That's not the case. In order to be put up for sale, they're going to have to make the company a lot more appealing. Therefore, they're going to have to take the debt that is currently on the business and reduce it as much as possible. In order to do this, more than likely, they're going to look at their high levels of inventory and start liquidating them for whatever they can possibly get. This generally means selling far below MSRP. Doesn't really matter what your wholesale margin is from different manufacturers, you're just going to sell it because if I can normally sell something for $100, but in today's climate, I can move it for 20, I'm gonna move it at 20 just to recoup something back because essentially I need that money and that debt off my books in as much as possible. Bike shops, unfortunately, aren't able to compete with this. Since this news broke, there have been plenty of independent cycling dealers that have raised concerns about the low cost inventory flooding the market. I tend to agree with them. This is going to create lots and lots of issues for bike shops who cannot compete with the sales that are going to occur. In my last video, I said that there would more than likely be a massive rush on a lot of these brands and products, and this is exactly what I was alluding to. Now that we have confirmation, let me know your thoughts. Are we going to see people start to shy away from shopping at their local bike shops and take advantage of these deals? Or are we going to see a massive resurgence of people shopping at their bike shops only and not rewarding the bad business behavior that has been occurring here? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.